Good morning. Today we are in Luke chapter 17, and it is a story about social distancing. It really is. In verse 12, it says, 10 men stood at a distance, and they stood at a distance because they had a highly contagious disease. It was not the coronavirus. It was something called leprosy. Leprosy would infect the skin, and eventually it would go to a person's internal organs as well, and it would lead to death. Uh, the disease would eat away at a person's fingers, even their facial features would literally be dissolved by this disease. It was a horrible existence if you had leprosy. People would have to keep themselves separate from everyone else. That's why the Bible says these men stood at a distance. But then they see Jesus. Oh, they heard how Jesus had healed others. He healed the blind and, and, and the lame and the deaf. Maybe he could heal us too. And the scripture says they shouted. They had to shout because they were at such a distance, much further away, I think, than the six feet that all of us are trying to practice with the coronavirus. Jesus, Jesus, Master, have mercy upon us. And Jesus tells them, to go show themselves to the priests. Uh, according to the Old Testament book of Leviticus chapter 14, uh, the priest would have to declare that the healing was legitimate. And so these men begin to go towards the priest, all 10 of them. And here's something that stood out to me, and maybe you noticed it as well. The passage says, as they went, they were cleansed. They were not healed right away. But as they obeyed, faith always requires obedience even when you don't see immediate visible evidence to back up your belief. Faith invariably requires action. As they went towards the priest, as they went, they were healed. What was that like? Maybe they're walking along and one leper looks at the other and says, Dude, your skin's looking really good. Are you moisturizing? Are you going to a dermatologist I don't know about? I think, look at my hand, my fingers have grown back. I can't believe it. The scab on my face is gone. We're healed. We are healed. The best thing that's ever happened to them just happened to them. Their leprosy had been healed. And here's where the story gets interesting. One of the ten runs back to say thanks. All ten were healed. All ten had leprosy. All ten cried out for mercy. All ten, in obedience, went to see the priest. But only one went back to say thank you. Even Jesus seems a bit surprised. Were there not ten healed, he says. Where are the other nine? Where are the other nine? Only one came back to say thank you. During these difficult times when we are often scared by just watching the news, viruses and illnesses and, and shaky economies and people losing jobs. During all of this time, I want to remind you there is power in gratitude. Spend a little bit of time every day to thank God for your blessings. I know things are hard. You're still blessed. God has still been very, very good to you. And if you'll take the time to count your blessings, uh, it has a power to encourage you even during difficult times. God's blessed me in the past. He'll be there for me again. Things are hard right now, but they're not going to stay that way. I am blessed. My father, I've mentioned this to you before. My father had a massive stroke and he was only 48 years old. During that very difficult time, he began to count his blessings. And afterwards, he decided every day he would write down something for which he was thankful. And for the last uh, 27 years of his life, he filled up journals like this. Every single day of his life, he wrote down things for which he was blessed, uh, for which he was thankful. My dad knew that he was a blessed man. And because of that, he was joyful. Because of that, he had hope. And no matter how bad things might be, he had hope that things would be okay because the God that blessed him yesterday is the God that will bless him today and bless him tomorrow. So during these difficult times, 
Don't be like the nine. Be like that one leper who had gratitude in his heart and said thanks to God. In fact, I encourage you right now at the very end of this video, spend a little bit of time in prayer. And why don't you count your blessings? Why don't you tell God all of the things in your life that you're thankful for? Because I know you're blessed and I know that God did it. The question is, have you thanked him? We'll see you tomorrow in Luke chapter 18.